Hello everyone, this is Ankita Malik back again with a new video in a new setup and I hope you like this. In this video, I created this look that I recently wore to a lunch with my family and I know in this hot weather, wearing a full face of makeup is the last thing you would think about but here is something I created using very minimal base products which is perfectly wearable in the summer. So to know how to get this look, let's jump into the video. With a clean face, I am starting off with the Pond's Super Light Gel Oil Free Moisturizer. It's very light on the skin as it has gel formulation, hence is a perfect moisturizer to wear during the summers. Make sure to apply it all over the face including your under eyes because it needs hydration. Next, I am going with the Maybelline New York Fit Me Primer. This is a matte plus poreless primer which is again perfect for the summers. It beautifully covers up all the open pores you have on your nose and cheeks and blurs it out. And also it mattifies your skin reducing any oiliness on your skin. Make sure you apply primer under your eyes as well. That helps in filling in the lines under the eyes helping concealer to blend in smoothly. Now give few minutes to let the product settle on your skin before jumping on to the next product. Next I'm going with the Elegal Pro HD Concealer in shade Pure Beige and I'm gonna apply it under my eyes to cover up those darkness. And also I have some darkness around my nose and so I'm gonna apply some there and then few dots on the dark spots I have on my cheeks. And then I'm using my fingers to blend the concealer. Using finger to blend in your makeup is the best way you can go for because it perfectly covers up any spots and darkness with very little amount of product. There is zero wastage of any product. So if you ask me whether to use a beauty sponge or brush or your fingers to blend your makeup, I would definitely suggest you to use your fingers to blend in your makeup. Now I'm taking a damp beauty sponge and just going all over the places I applied the concealer just to make sure it looks well diffused on the skin, mostly around the the edges so that it doesn't look like I have concealer patches on just few places of my face. Moving on, I'm going with the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hours Foundation and the Maybelline New York Fit Me Foundation and mixing both the shades, I'm applying just few dots of it on my cheeks just to cover up any visible spots. You don't actually need a lot of product for this, just a little bit of the product and dabbing it gently using your fingers on the required area will do the job. And I'm just running whatever product left on my finger on the center of my forehead just to kind of mattify it. Next, I'm going with the NYX Professional Makeup SD Concealer in shade 04 Beige and I'm applying it in the inner corner of my eyes just to highlight it and around the outer corner and also on the sides of my nose and lips to add some lift and on the bridge of my nose to highlight it and then I'm using a damp beauty sponge to blend all of that well on the skin. This hardly will take you about 10 to 15 minutes to get the look but just because I'm filming the process it's taking a bit long. Now to set all the concealer, I am taking the Maybelline New York Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in shade light medium and I am using a small brush to set the concealer under the eyes. And then just a light dust of the powder on the center of my face so that it looks matte and on the cheeks because we have concealer on there. Okay. 
For the brows, I am taking the Maybelline New York Define and Blend Brow Pencil and luckily I did remember doing my brows that day. Doing the brows can bring a huge difference to your entire look. So sometimes I feel um, you really need to do your brows even though you are going for a simple makeup look. And for a natural look, this Maybelline Brow Pencil is the perfect product I feel because it gives you that natural finish to the brows with very soft and subtle pigmentation. Um, you just cannot go overboard with this pencil. So if you are like new to doing your brows and have no idea how to make it look good, then go for this one. It's perfect for the beginners. Now I'm taking the sugar contour powder and I wanted my eyes to have that natural pigmentation finish and so I'm running it all over my eyelid and it's a matte product so it does the job. Make sure you blend it well around the corners so that it looks well diffused and natural. I'm using the same below my lower lash line as well so that it ties up the eye look and looks natural. With the same product, I'm also contouring my nose. Next, I'm taking the Miss Clear eyeshadow palette and I'm taking this darker shade right here and I'm using a flat brush to apply the shade around the outer corner close to my upper lash line. And then slowly blending it out and up towards my brow bone just to add a bit of a depth to the outer corner of my eyes. I don't know if you can see the difference in both the eyes. I'm gonna do the same on the other side as well. Applying the shade close to the lash line and then gradually blending it out and then up towards my brow bone. Take your time and blend it well so that the shadows look well diffused into each other. I'm using the same shade and applying it on my lower lash line so when you apply mascara on your lower lashes, it kind of adds that illusion of volume to your lashes. Next, using a lash color to lift up my lashes before applying the mascara. And then for my upper lashes, I'm using the Color Bar Zoom and Woosh mascara and this is how I use it. First, I go with the top cap and pull out the wand with the minimum mascara on it and apply the first coat of it on my lashes. This helps in adding a little length to my barely visible lashes. And then I let it dry. Meanwhile, I go with the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara and apply it on my lower lashes. It has a very thin wand like you can see and so makes it perfect for the lower lashes and plus it adds a perfect length to the lashes and makes it stand out. Now for the second coat on my upper lashes, I go with the second cap of the Color Bar Mascara. That helps in adding the perfect amount of volume to my lashes and it looks so beautiful and stands out perfectly. I love it. Next, I am taking the Rimmel London Eye Definer in the nude and applying it on my waterline so that my eyes look more open and fresh. Next, I'm using the Wet n Wild Contour Stick and contouring my face. I never skip on this contour stick. I feel my face looks flat if I don't apply any contour cream or powder and just go with a blush. I don't know, I just cannot skip any step of the makeup. It's just, it adds so much and brings out the best features and adds a lot of difference on the final look. I prefer going for all the steps. So I used a damp beauty sponge to blend all the product.
and next for the blush i am taking the biotech natural makeup starstruck matte blush this blush have become my go-to blush honestly this is such a beautiful blush with so much pigmentation and in an affordable price range if you use it once i don't think you would be going for any other blushes out there in the market like it's a perfect blush i have used till date next for the highlighter i am taking the maybelline new york master chrome illuminating metallic highlighter i mean come on you can't skip on highlighter and i'm taking a pencil brush and i'm applying little bit of the highlighter on the center of my eyelids just a hint of it so if you're looking down and lights hitting on your face it gives that hint of shine and it draws attention next applying it in the inner corner of my eyes and also on the brow bone so that the eye makeup looks complete just go with a little touch of the highlighter so that it looks subtle now for the lips i'm going with one of my favorite lip shades the nykaa creamy matte lipstick in shade let it snooze this is another of my go to makeup product that i have been using these days now to finish up the look i'm taking the wet and wild makeup setting spray and dabbing it all over my face with a beauty sponge this will help in melting down all the products together into a single layer on the skin and also will help your makeup to stay put for long and this is the final look I really hope you loved watching this video and if you did then please don't forget to hit the like button below and share this video with your friends and also if you're new to this channel then please subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I'll see you in my next bye